Our TN Ready and EOC results from the last year show areas of improvement throughout the entire district. These encouraging results suggest that our efforts to enhance instruction in every school are taking hold. We are confident that by committing to the work we have started, we will get even better and faster than ever before. This year, we will continue to implement the cornerstones of high quality instruction. These include the instructional core, instructional leadership teams, instructional practice guides, and cycles of professional learning. These cornerstones lead to high quality instruction while keeping the instructional core at the forefront of student learning. The instructional core is made up of content, teacher practices, and student practices. Research shows that you don't change performance without changing the instructional core. The relationship between the teacher and the student in the presence of content must be at the center of efforts to improve performance. Since TAST predicts performance, the real accountability system is in the tasks that students are asked to do. In other words, we know that the three ways to increase student learning and performance include Number one, changing the content that teachers are delivering and students are learning. We have adopted and are implementing EL and Eureka and our new science curricula. Number two, increase the knowledge and skills of teachers. We do this through ongoing professional development. And number three, altering the relationship of the student to the teacher and the content. We do this through enhanced engagement strategies. Through the HQI cornerstones, we hope to have an impact on all three. The primary work of the instructional leadership team in each school under the guidance of principals, ILDs, and content area advisors is to improve instruction by focusing on student learning and achievement as well as build teacher capacity through differentiated support. The team will meet regularly and frequently to discuss trends, analyze data and student work, assess progress toward goals, plan professional development, and discuss action steps in the CPL. The principal will establish a leadership team that includes administrative and content leads for ELA, math, science, and social studies. Content leads receive a $500 stipend per semester. ILTs will utilize the instructional practice guides as tools to identify trends in school buildings to create cycles of professional learning. The IPG will be housed in our professional learning zone and organized by teacher. However, the IPG will have two purposes. First, it will be used as a tool by the ILT only to identify trends that help them develop the cycle of professional learning. This will be done using hard copies of the IPG, which will not contain teacher names and will not be logged in the PLZ. There should be no more than three or four ILT members conducting an informal walkthrough to collect trends at one time per classroom. The second purpose for the IPG, which will not have ratings, is for the TIM certified observers to conduct informal observations in order to provide individual teachers with feedback and opportunities for growth. Teachers should expect to receive feedback in a timely manner from the certified team. These informal observations will be placed in the professional learning zone. The cycle of professional learning fulfills several key functions. First and foremost, it is a professional learning plan that builds expertise in all staff through repeated cycles of high quality learning, followed by opportunities for practicing and receiving feedback. This process can include observing colleagues, engaging in ongoing professional reading, and peer discussions about best practices. Finally, it calls for teachers and leaders to examine the impact of practices on student learning by looking at student work and reviewing student performance data. Quality student work should be displayed through the building to promote student engagement and pride of effort. By working together, we can implement the cornerstones of high quality instruction to lead to better outcomes for our students while always keeping the instructional core at the forefront of student learning.